Good morning guys, this is my first video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown of my tank. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's about 30 days. I got a bird nest. Uh, oh, you're not camera shy, huh? You want to stand in front of the camera and show everybody. And he's off. Got a couple of fish, about four or five. Got some mushrooms. There's a toadstool. There is my blue jay sweater that's showing up on the video. Um, my feather duster. I got lots of snails. Uh, I got diatoms so far on my sand. From what I'm understanding, and I'm if I'm wrong, please you know comment about it. There's a frog spawn, some candy corals. Diatoms are living organism. Organism. Sorry, I said orgasm. Sorry if any females get offended. Well, organisms that grow on top of your sand bed. So they're almost like leave, living creatures. And you know how the sand bed is pretty much a living part of your tank. It's actually living and it's helping your tank. It's helped seeding your tank. It's, it's not bad. It looks nasty. Uh, just like bristle worms. That thing's humongous. I can pull back so you guys can get a better picture of how humongous that thing is. That Kenya tree slash finger coral slash whatever you want to name it. Has so many names. Uh, got a couple of generic. I haven't started with the crazy coral yet. Because um, I just want to make sure my tank is doing great. Before I go ahead and got my overflow box, got my, and this is going to be, I'm going to do one every 30 days, so we can keep an eye on that coral. It's starting to bleach out. I'm not sure if that's coming from when it fell, because so I used to have a sea urchin in here. Uh, he is no longer in here. He is now in my skimmer. Got two pumps. Got for 100 bucks. It comes with a wave maker, and I'll show you guys later. I'm only running one Stark LED, only one, and that is a 75 gallon bowl front tank. And with one LED on the 75 gallon bowl front tank, that's pretty amazing. I mean, you guys, we have to actually tell the truth. Uh, I have a leather coil, and this is uh, about 30 days up and running. So I'm going to have the diatoms from what I've researched. You can have it up to two to three to four months. Uh, they go in and out. Got a couple of snails in there. Uh, got, I had an algae bloom. And you get that a lot with the brand new tank. And there's my reserve water. And I'm using uh, a calc in there. So it comes with an auto top off. And I'll show you guys my sump pretty soon. Uh, once again, I live in Southern California. So... It gets about 105 degrees in the summertime. So, yes, you have to, have to, have to purchase a chiller out here. And it's in my office. So, I have a fan that I circulate to get the humidity down. And now we'll go into my sump area. Um, filter socks. A lot of people do not like filter socks because they say it collects and stores a lot of... Uh, nuisance algae into your tank I really don't care what most people say because as long as you have a salt water tank everything that works for me is not going to work for you and if you guys can tell that's my auto top off leaking some water down in where calcium is dropping in and my return pump and I have a, I'm not sure if you guys can see but I have a couple of rocks in there uh, right now, I have my refugium light on. I'm going to turn it off. I have about two fishes in there. You may see them. You may not. You may come out. Only time will tell. Definitely, you have to have a starfish in there. It's just all the stuff that I can't have in my tank fish-wise. I need to do something about my cords. I am thinking, truthfully, about getting... Uh, uh, there he goes. See, he's swimming. And then I'm re using refugium mud. Uh, 
Miracle Mud. First, I did Fiji Mud. That's really a mess. I, I tell everybody, if you're going to do a mud at the bottom of your refugium, definitely get Miracle Mud. You know, I was not a believer. I'm one of those people that say you learn from what you do, not what everybody else does. Because, once again, what works for me may not work for you. And that's my light going off and my blue light going on. I usually turn my refugium on at night so the pH level does not drop significantly and it will help my tank out balanced. A balanced tank is a healthy tank. I've got a couple of coral growth. You know, that Superman got some uh, zinnias. Uh, they look like they're pulsing now. But at first they weren't. I got candy curls. And once again I have a whole bunch of snails. And if you look at my sand bed. This is about 2 to 3 inches deep. Uh, thinking about buying maybe 100 more pounds of sand. Which will bring it to about 5 to 6 inches deep. And that's a lot of sand. Once again. A great tank comes from a great sand bed and a great refugium. You cannot do a salt water tank without having a refugium. You can, once again, because then I'll be contradicting what I said earlier about, you know, doing, being like the Joneses, and that's not typically true. Uh, now I'll give you guys a close up of all my coral, and 30 days later, I'll come in and update it so you guys can see where my coral, coral growth is. And I'll just use the uh, calc recently because I was using Purple Up. And come to find out, Purple Up contains a lot, a lot, a lot of just filth in it and it goes into your tank it's in, and you can see I got a bunch of dead I'm not sure if you can tell or not there's a bunch of dead snails back there you know because maybe they're fighting for shells I have a lot of hermit crabs have no cover so it's just blowing and have a lot of water flow running about both pumps are about um, 1350 to 1400 gallons per hour. Uh, I'm not gonna pay for a, M4, a M40 or a M10 when I can get the same response out of these. And I do have a wave maker. Turn on my light so you guys can see. There it is. Set for five to six minutes each point. So I get a lot of flow. Once again, I'm going to turn on my blue light because it's the daytime. And I got some Calerpa in there. Um, I have a lot of stuff in my refugium. I try to let my refugium just do whatever it wants to do. Once a month, I'll trim it. And that's just, you know, things I like to do. I have two tubs. And once again, if you guys have any questions or any comments, or you want to subscribe, and, you know, we can talk about you know anything I do use RODI water I do not use RO water I used to use RO water and I think that's where a lot of my algae bloom came from uh, and I purchased most of my stuff from bulk resupply they're pretty good uh, I had a couple of issues with my RODI system and you know they took care of me and it was easy and fast and that's what I like it was a four or five day turnaround Got everything going. And if you can tell, my tank to me, I'll get it's gonna get I'll back up so you guys can get a big look at my tank. It's not too bad. So 75 gallon bow front. Got a lot of action. Get a lot more coral. Just waiting for most of this to grow because to me it's just almost like planting flower beds. You don't want to just over plant. You want it to grow and see how far it can go before you start planting again. So maybe in another two to three months, I'll buy more coral, see the growth. But I'll check you guys out in a month. Once again, 
This is Too Much for 2004, signing out.